Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the press conference of 27th Men's Handball World Championship, Egypt 2021, main round, match number 69, Denmark versus Japan. Japan. <laughs> We're going to start with the coach and player's comment and then receiving the questions. Please. Good evening. Uh, we, of course, are very happy uh, today uh, after victory where we also qualified for the quarterfinals, uh, so it was a good day for us. Uh, it was a tough uh, match, especially in the first half. We didn't uh, play uh, that well, especially in the defense. Uh, there was a too big gap uh, between us, uh, but in the second half, we managed uh, uh, the defense uh, a lot uh, uh, better, uh, and uh, I think we played uh, in attack. Uh, uh, good, uh, but in both half uh, we we missed too many chances today. Uh, but uh, uh, overall, when you have uh, won and uh, qualified for the uh, quarterfinals, uh, you have to be uh, uh, a happy coach. So uh, I am glad. Thank you. Uh, Claire, please. Okay. I'm ready on the fight on the third round. الماتش كان صعب جدا وخصوصا في الشوط الاول ما كناش كويسين قوي يعني على مستوى الدفاع ضيعنا فرص كتير في الشوط الثاني دافعنا بشكل احسن وفي الهجوم كمان وقدرنا نحافظ على فرق الاهداف اكيد اي مدرب هيكون سعيد جدا انه قدر يتاهل للدور الربع النهائي. بلاي بليز. فيرست اوف اول اولسو ام ريل هابي ذات ناو وي ار to the into the quarterfinals uh, i want to congratulate the japanese team for a really tough game uh, it was really difficult uh, team to play against um, they have a lot of good qualities uh, one against one uh, and yeah in the beginning we we, we were not compact enough and uh, we were by ourselves in the defense uh, and didn't help each other uh, in attack also we most of the, the game we played really well. We just missed too many chances um, on the great goalkeeper today. Um, and in the second half, I think we we played a lot more, a lot better in, in defense. We were more compact and we were helping each other and moving a lot more. So it made it easier for, for, for us in defense and also for Nicholas in the goal. So it was really good. I'm very happy that we had the final of the final. عايز اهنئ اليابان اللي كان خصم صعب جدا على الاداء النهارده يمكن كانوا كويسين جدا في الدفاع واحد لواحد احنا يمكن في الشوط الاول ما كناش سريعين كفايه وما كناش بنلعب بخطوره شديده دفاعنا كان هش نوعا ما ضيعنا فرص كتير جدا واكيد حارس اليابان كان مستوى عالي قوي اكيد احنا بس احنا في الشوط الثاني قدرنا نتحسن لعبنا بشكل اشرس بشكل اسرع وقدرنا نضمن التأهل واليابان كان فعلا خصم قوي. Question please. Uh, my question is for the coach. Firstly, congrats for your uh, great match. Uh, my question is, um, uh, uh, are there any plans of laying off certain players the next match since you guys are already in the quarterfinals? Will it be like a much easier match since you guys don't really need the square? Uh, we, we will make a plan for uh, tomorrow because uh, we have uh, a lot of players now and uh, some in, in our uh, team staff had some problem with the stomach. Uh, that's why Nicole Hansen and Johan Hansen uh, didn't play today. So <clears throat> we have to see how that's uh, developing. But uh, uh, I'm not having any plans to uh, spare some players. Uh, we want to continue on the uh, road that we are uh, Riding on now, so uh, we want to uh, keep on uh, playing uh, like we have done until now. Next, please. Uh, my question for uh, the player uh, Which team uh, you prefer to play against uh, in quarter final? Uh, we are not even that far. <laughs> now we are just happy that we won against Japan today, and then we're looking forward to. Croatia, and then we'll see whichever team we will face in the quarterfinal. Any other questions? Last one, please. I want to ask the coach what do you think about the Masr in the Bula? Especially in a very difficult time, and there were a lot of players who didn't want to play the Bula. I want to ask the coach who 
مين بالنسبة لك كان مفاجأة في في المجموعة بتاعتك بعد ما تأهلت خلاص؟ For the coach, how do you feel about the tournament so far with the organizing and the bubble and all the stuff going around in the tournament? And who's the player or the team that surprised you with its level? Oh, many questions. Yeah, I think. I think it's, it's difficult for everybody in the in the bubble, uh, for the organizer, for the teams. It's 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 a huge job. I said uh, there are many things uh, that can uh, be uh, done better, but uh, I also think that uh, uh, Egypt, uh, handball uh, are trying the best they can uh, to uh, uh, solve and to help with the the problems uh, that we are uh, having. Um, which team has uh, uh, surprised me? Uh, I think Argentina uh, today played uh, very well. Uh, Hungary had has been playing uh, uh, very good uh, uh, handball. So uh, I think there's a lot of good teams uh, with a, a high uh, level. So it will be interesting when we come to the uh, quarterfinals. Um, there will be uh, some tough uh, matches. يمكن كان في مشاكل كتير جدا في تنظيم البابل والبطوله يمكن كان ممكن تتحل تتعمل تطبق بشكل احسن يعني بس الشيء الجميل في الموضوع ان دايما اي مشاكل بتقابلنا في مصر ولجنه المنظمه وفرق الهاندبول كمان تحاول تعمل كل اللي عندها عشان تحلها كمان اللجنه المنظمه ومصر مصر يعني بتقدم كل اللي عندها علشان تحل مشاكلنا ومشاكل بيت الفرق بالنسبه للشق الثاني من السؤال الارجنتين فاجئتنا اكيد النهارده الادائها قدام كرواتيا كمان فريق هنغاريا المجر قدم مستويات كبيره جدا وفاجئتنا واظن ان في فرق كتير ثانيه لعبت وقدمت اداء قوي و بس ثانك يو كوتش ثانك يو ثانك يو فور كومينج ثانك يو